Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. My name is Vinay. This is the second video on important Power App function. So last time we looked into important text function inside our Canvas app. Now we are going to look into math function. Then going forward, we will look into date and time function, logical function, collection function, data source function, and so on. Okay, so let's start with this video. So our first function is absolute function. So what does absolute mean? let's say if i have a negative number okay let's say if i have a negative number let's say minus five so the absolute value of minus five will be five and the absolute value of five will also be five okay so how we are going to implement that inside our canvas app so we have like this absolute abs function uh just wait okay abs function and inside that we just write the number let's say if i write like something minus 54 so see the output output is 54 and if let's say if i write 54 the output is again going to be 54 even if it is a decimal see decimals are fine but it just convert negative to positive okay see i have written negative but here i am the answer which i am seeing is in the positive see okay so the first function is absolute number, absolute function, sorry. Now moving on to our second function that is round. As the name suggests, it will just round. And the second parameter, let's say how many decimal place I want. The first parameter requires number. The second parameter requires here instead of this, let's let me give like text one dot text text one dot text is nothing but this first one. See it highlighted, right? So it will extract text from here and I'll say like zero decimal place. And if I run the app now, let's say if I write something like this 5.4, so the output is five, but let's say if I write 5.6, the output is six. As soon as like it is greater than or equal to 0.5, so it will just round it up. And if it is like less than 0.5, so it just round it down, okay. Moving on to our power function. Okay, so the first one, what we learned was absolute. Let me write here, text one dot text. So the first one is absolute. The second one is round. Let me come in these. Okay, moving on to our third one. Our third one is power. So power is very simple. Like, you know, let's say four to the power two, it is going to be 16. See the output up here, 16, right? Uh, and if you want to do see this dynamically, I'll say text dot one comma text two dot text. Let me run this. See up here now. Let's say I have five, five to the power five is three, one, two, five, five to the power two is 25. Three is 125. Okay. So like this, okay, like this power function work. 5 to the power 2 is 225 so yeah cool so power function is very very simple i guess now moving on to our next function that is sum function again a very simple function there are multiple ways you can perform some like simple ways like adding a plus sign between number c and let us wait and see here the output is 209 for these number 22 plus 55 plus 44 plus 88 uh, let us let us use some function now okay uh, so sum and again 22 44 55 88 the output will remain the same 209 so you can either use some function or you can simply go with this so i think this is clear some function is clear Moving on to our next, next one is average. Again, a very, very simple function. I hope you guys know what average is. So average is nothing but sum of all the number divided by the total count of the number. So the formula is let's say average. And let me remove this sign for now. And numbers like 10, 15, 20, okay and maybe 30 <clears throat> okay the spelling of average is wrong average okay now it is cool 
so 5 plus 10 plus uh, let me just copy this let me just show you firstly and if I'll click up here go to its default I'll just show you instead of some so sum of 5 10 15 20 and 30 is 80 and 80 divided by and if I divide this by 5 so what I'm getting 16 so this is what this is our average so the total number of so total count of vari variables or values I have seen 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the total count of variables and when we sum this so this is the formula of average okay so average is also done these are like pretty simple I hope you guys know these function uh, the next one is min again minimum is also like very easy let me just copy this only and here I'll say min and I'll just paste this up here so whatever the minimum value inside this see the minimum value is 5 right so this is done same with like uh, max if I write uh, like max up here this time instead of min so the maximum value is what 30 see up here the first one was min the second one was max now moving on to our next one that is roundup similar to our round function roundup what roundup will do it will simply round up one decimal place let's say if i have 2.1 so it will round it up to three and uh, decimal i also need to let's say if i put zero up here so zero decimal let's say if i have like this so many decimals with me and here if i write four so see four decimal will be there one see here one two three and four and it will this one will just round up okay see up here and if i write zero then there will be no decimal place okay well and good uh, same with round down so let's look into round down now so this one was round up the next one is round down so round down what it will do let's say if i have like this also eight nine so it will just remain two it will round it down even if it is like 2.99 it doesn't care but if it is if it was a round function it would have rounded it up to three okay and round up will anyways going to round it up to three so this is fine now moving on to our next round up round down we have done like mod function uh if you don't know what a mod is let me just tell you see firstly mod of 10 comma 6 so mod nothing is mod is nothing but remainder when we divide like when we divide 10 with 6 what is the remainder we get 4 right same with let's say 20 the remainder should be 2 6 3 6 into 3 is 18 and the remainder remains as 2 okay so the mod gives nothing but the remainder all right this is also done uh, square root again very simple uh, simply we just need to write like this sqrt and the number inside it uh, let's say 49 so the square root of 49 is 7 uh, let me give let's say 25 so this is this let's say 225 15 so square root is very simple uh, moving on to our next one exponential see written e raised to the power of a specific number so basically like uh, let's say if i have a number like uh, firstly let me show you what is exp1 is so it is 2 point uh, something 2.718 okay so this is exponent 1 exponent 2 is like this so depending on your use case you can you can use this formula okay no need to deep dive into it like how we calculate this but if you have a use in this for this in your formula use this simple okay now moving on to our next one that is log so again same with exponent we have log function let's say log of 10 is what 1 okay log of 100 is what 2 thousand number of zeros actually is it is log 10 okay 
Okay, so this is this is the log function. You can say returns the natural logarithm of the number. Actually, it returns. It is not returning natural logarithm. It is returning like log ten of a number. To return natural logarithm, what you need to use instead of log, we need you need to use like l n. Okay. So this is the natural logarithm of this number, six point nine zero. Okay. So this is also done now moving on to our next one like random random function very simple here see return a random number between 0 and 1 so let's write random function here r a n t and just simple as that see up here it gives some random value like 0 0.68 if i remove this paste it again the number will change but it will remain between like 0 and 1 but let us say if you want uh, like uh, between 1 to 10 so how you will do that for that we have rand between function so let's look into that so we will say rand between okay between 1 and 10 if i'll say so it will just select a random number between 1 and 10 if i do something like this 7 and 10 so see firstly i need to okay see see up here it is saying 10 let's say 7 and 153 uh here i'll say 73 and 100 so it is 88 so it it works like that it will choose a random number between 77 and 100 73 and 100 in this case okay so red between is done here see returns a random number between two specified number uh, the next one and the last one is trunk or truncates so truncate a specific number of decimal places so as the name suggests very simple function uh, let me comment this one and let's write trunk <coughs> see the syntax is up here the number let me give a number like 556.434 and now it will ask me like how many decimal do you want to truncate if i will say one so it will just show me like one decimal till one decimal if i write two so i'll see two decimal if i have like multiple see like this and if i write 10 so i'll have only 10 decimal with me so based on your use case you can use this math function very simple to understand so these are all the math function that we covered today the first one is absolute second is round then power then some average minimum maximum round up round down mod exponent log ln is also log but it written natural log this written log of log to the power of 10 or log base 10 sorry then we have rand function which give random values between 0 and 1 it can be a decimal number and then we have ran between so we have two specified value between these two values including these two values also we get a random number and finally we have truncate which just truncate the decimal based on the digits based on the second parameter let's say if i write one so the output will be 56.4 so this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe the channel i'll see you in the next one till then take care goodbye